something really extraordinary happened around 12,800 to 13,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. Now, I say ice age because the volume of ice on Earth was more than double what it is now. But half of that ice is gone. And in terms of geological timescales, it was like that. What could it have been? To me, it only comes down to two things possibly asteroid impacts or impacts, I'll say bolide impacts, because the term bolide can be anything that, it can be a rock, it can be a piece of a comet. It's something that comes out of the sky, it hits the earth. Or the sun. Or the sun, or a combination of the two. I don't know what else there would be. I've looked at things on a galactic level. I don't think that it would be on that level. I think the most likely explanation is if you had an impact. Right. However, there are new studies out that have been coming out in the last 20 years. Once we've deployed solar observing satellites, we've seen something very interesting, that there seems to be a connection between hyperactivity on the sun and the infall of what's called the Kreutz sun grazers, which is a family of comets that nobody knew about until we deployed solar sa observing satellites, or at least I think maybe they were suspected, but we hadn't really observed them. There's evidence now that somewhere between 20 and say 25, 26,000 years ago, a really big comet came into the inner solar system, kind of got caught up in this ping pong game between the sun and Jupiter. And that comet began to undergo a hierarchical fragmentation, littering the inner solar system with the byproducts of its destruction. And that the earth may have encountered that material on more than one occasion. A lot of it could have been swept into the sun, and what those Kreut sun grazers are telling us is that these hypervelocity impacts into the sun may be, tri be triggering solar storms, coronal mass ejections, and things.